wanted to check in about it. And uh, I'm not distracted, Pastor DeMarco. Thanks. Sorry, I'm distracted by eating something here. Uh, my intention is just basically to see you guys. You know, that's all. <laughs> and if like there's anything, um, you know, needs my help, um, I'm going to jump in on that. So that's all. Yeah, back to you, Griff. Cool. Well, uh, let's just jump into the board. I'll share my screen so I can find it. And uh, there is this first issue, which looks pretty interesting. Uh, that Phil H uh, very nicely uh, made. Um, we have uh, the simulation is finished, but like, will you shut up about it? You know, uh, it's a it's like uh, looks like there's a little bit of a bug in our <laughs> error messaging. Could it be? Could it be uh, a bug? Uh Sorry, could it be a bug just on, you know, for Phil, maybe, you know, glitch on, on his end? Or does this happen to other people as well? <laughs> yeah. It's never happened to me. You know, sometimes your browser can get, you know, crazy. Uh, and, and you know, it, depending on how much tabs you have open, depending on what all kind of stuff you have in your browser. So I'm not sure, like maybe Vitor, uh, you can give some input here, but I, I kind of have a no, gut never feeling. happened to me. Yeah, I kind of have a gut feeling that there was a glitch for Phil in his browser or something. Yeah. I mean, that that's like a thing. It would just be one browser will have a glitch. I'll just tell him that we're having trouble replicating this error. Uh, and and then we'll go from there. We are having trouble replicating the error. Uh, Phil, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, can you please provide more more feedback, more input? You know, which browser, which operating system? Okay. That's How many right. tabs did you have open? Cool. Do, we have, do we have an ad blocker? <laughs> are you <laughs> Okay, well, when was the last time you guys did a simulation? Because we could have, right at the very, you did? I'm, you I'm still waiting for it. It's assessing global impact, but. Oh, well, that takes time. <laughs> we, we, we could at least try to use his parameters and see if uh, it looks like 38%. And see if we get the same issue. I can Exit do that. Fifteen percent. Oh, you're you're on it. I can I can use his parameters. Like run another one. Mine, mine's still running. Just one tip: <laughs> you should not use like exactly the same because if you use exactly the same parameters, you will not actually run. Right. Mm. So you can run change like one number a little bit. Because if you do that, it's going to use the memory. Yeah. Well, we can try to guess. This looks like 30 or 58 percent. It's hard to know. Could even just be 30 or 50. 36. Okay. 
Okay, Lauren, I'm going to pass this to you then if you're already on it. And uh, in, in Telegram, I put this text, but you can play with it how you want. Provide an alternate simulation configured UX to experienced users. Current flow is well suited for beginners who need explanations about every step. Once they went through all the steps and learned about each step, it's no longer useful to force them to load seven pages of content they already know. That's a quick win. Uh, okay, so what do you think about that idea, guys? I assume it's product backlog, but... Oh, wow. Simulation that, failed. That, that seems to me what we had at the beginning was that other front end that you can, that you can just input the parameters. Mm -hmm. uh, Lauren, you look like you have a lot to say. Well, it's the parameters I picked, I mean, I picked different parameters than his initially in the simulation that I was running. It's like, now it's like simulation failed, simulation failed, simulation failed. It keeps, it's the same thing. It just keeps popping up and saying that. We can okay. try to do it. I can go look at the API, check what's going on. Thank you so much. So then I will assign this to Vitor. Can I just comment on the on the previous issue about alternative UX? Yeah. Um, I I don't know, like, um, but what what Phil is asking, like, it's like. Um, I don't know. It's like buying a new game and saying like, hey, can I skip all these parts and just go to the next one? Um, mm -hmm. Or, you know, stuff like that. Or, you know, can you provide me a different thing? Um, it's it's part of like the UX and the whole game kind of thing that, that we wanted to create in first place. Um, and I don't know, providing something or alternative to that. I understand why, because he wants to try out a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of different simulations um but I, I don't i don't think we should change it oh so uh yeah i agree and this seems like interesting for this seems interesting for for development but not for real life and yeah uh i just tried here and the front end has a problem it is happening again the the simulation I'm gonna send it the print in the group. It is quite mm -hmm. you can you can assign maybe Fabio or Merlin because it's front end issue. Well who who would you suggest I assign it to? Uh just both. Yeah. And see who gets to it first. Yeah.
Cool. Then, uh, yeah, I'll just say in here. Um, I thought I was writing this in a different page, but Uh, okay, cool. I'll, I'll respond to Phil in that one. Um, make the play again button consistent. When hitting the play again button on the final page, the user goes back to the very beginning of the simulation game and has to view again the introductory pages. When using the link to analyze your charts again on the same final page, then hitting play again button, the, the page with the funding pool sentiment token price Introductory pages are skipped, which saves a lot of time. The play again button should have the same behavior on both pages. Is this a pretty quick fix? Yeah, I think it is just a matter of linking to the other page. Correct me if I'm wrong, Weaver. Yeah. And, and yeah, I agree, it should be consistent. And also, I, I would also say uh, that it should link uh, back to the first parameter setting instead of the introductionary screens because like user has already gone through that and he wants just to play again so we don't have to show them introductions right mm -hmm. uh, who should I assign Vitor I think you can assign uh, Fabian Morley and then yeah, Fabian Morley is front end thing. Yeah. He is another cow, so he because of the change of the time in, in Brazil, now it's like the calls are one hour earlier for us, and he has another meeting in the same time. Cool. In the sprint backlog, and I can follow up with them. Cool. So that's the board. Uh, really nice. I want to. Wanna... I'll praise Phil H really quick, uh, or at least get it queued up. Okay. Um, next uh, blog post. Uh, Lauren, uh, do you want to tell us about what's going on there? Um, well, I went through and I edited it a bunch and I accepted a bunch of people's edits. I'm looking at it again now. Um, and yeah, it looks like there's a, still a few more like things that need to be accepted, but, um, Vitor is going to publish this one. So, um, yeah, kind of need Vitor to publish it when Vitor is ready. What do you think, Vitor? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I can do that. I'm just like, there are a few more things to accept, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. Can do that, so. Yeah, or I can go through it. I don't always accept everyone's suggestions. I only accept yeah, the ones good. that I like. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Um, so, yeah, I can go through, like, right after this call, too, and then just, like, send you a message and be like, I think it's finished. And then, um, yeah, and then you could load it up into Medium. Um, Gr Griff, right. do we have, like, a time that we should post this? Because I think Vitor's already has the power to post things on directly on the comment stack, so we could no i mean you can post it whenever you want and then we will probably if we want the greatest reach we would promote it on tuesday or wednesday but publishing that's just the promotion is where timing matters it's not so much the published date okay so but like does it make sense to pub publish and start promoting it like tomorrow's wednesday should we do it like right away or should we wait till next week well, it depends on how much time it's going to take from Vitor because this, uh, this, uh, oh, yeah. the hatch, the hatch params, uh, the hatch config dashboard matters so much more than this blog post, in my opinion, that it's hard for me to think about anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. What do you think, Vitor? Yeah. You mean like doing the, doing the communication on Twitter and stuff or just posting because... I think for posting is pretty fast. Well, I assume you have to read through the whole thing and uh, 
make sure it's edited and formatted oh, yeah. properly medium and stuff mm, it does make, take a bit of time make the get the memes in there and you know yeah it makes sense I don't know, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday or Thursday, because I plan to work on the dash config tomorrow. So probably Thursday, I will have finished almost everything that I want from the dash config. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I would, I like this idea personally of like being like, no, we're going to close all these issues in the dash config and then we'll, we'll jump no. into the post. Hey Merlin, S sorry for the late. <laughs> no worries. Uh, just saw the uh, email notification uh, that there was a sign to <laughs> some issues, so I jump on the call. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, actually, I threw you on two issues, and I don't know. Are you interested in taking them on? Um, didn't take the time to uh, no, of course. Uh, just see the first one that it's a small issue with uh, like messages uh, on after when running the simulation. So uh, don't, don't does the it, it it says simulation failed, but does the simulation actually succeed? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, Lauren, Vitor, you guys ran it. Does the simulation yeah. they succeed? Yeah, it succeeds, but then it, like the API returns the values, but then it keeps expecting the call from the API and then it crashes, but the API is correct. Okay. So I'll try to... Uh, is it uh, easy to reproduce the, call, uh, the error? Or... Yeah, I, I ran it once and it happened. Oh, okay. Weird because it it was working before. Yeah, yeah it's really weird. It's really okay. we didn't but even I, I, when, I, I when we saw the issue, we were like, he must have too many tabs open. Like we we didn't believe it could be real. <laughs> so. Yeah, sure. I will I will check. Cool. Uh, yeah, and then there's a second one as well that's like uh, the play again button, just making it, there's two play again buttons and we want to make the one that skips the intro. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, be the same one. So, so those are the two issues. And yeah, it'd be amazing if you could take those on. Yeah, okay. I check. Uh, maybe I, I need to, to tell Fabio. Yeah, is right it uh, available? Or? I, I think he's in a call right now, but he's uh, sent him and he already looked at it and he's trying to to, to reproduce it as well. But. Uh, I'll, I would just let Merlin take it. He's here. Sure. He said yes. And then, uh, of course, we can all talk to Fabio. We all want to talk to Fabio. Okay, so uh, we'll close. It's like, oh, Merlin's the hero. He'll take take on. He'll use his wizardry to uh, solve these issues, and then we can uh, blog post, publish after the dashboard gets through, and then we just hand it to the comms, and then we figure out when the comms wants to put it out. But it'll be on the blog and we can adjust the main page to replace part two, part one with part two on the main medium page, you know, and call it good there. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to talk about or I can, I can uh, let everyone go. Maybe I'll, I, I do want to talk to Vitor a little bit about the dashboard. Mm. Nothing to say. I think I will check <laughs> the <Dear. laughs> Yeah, Merlin. I mean, uh, we'll be in this room if you, if you if you want to hack on it now and you run into something, maybe we. Can... Yeah, sure. I just need to check if I have nothing after. Cool. Yeah, oh, no, I... it's okay. Uh, just one question to Mark. Did you see the design of the dashboard? Yes, yes, yes. And I already uh, provided feedback to uh, to Andre. I think Andre is his name. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, awesome. yeah. I already provided my feedback. 
Oh, man. Vitor, I just realized you never told us his name. He was just a designer. Just a <laughs> blank, no, no name designer. Andre. Designer guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. See you guys. See you, Marco. Yeah. Cheers. See you. Uh, Lauren, did you have anything? Or do you want to? You're more than welcome to hang out, of course, but give you a last chance before I dive into the dashboard. No, I don't have anything else. I might hang out and I might just like creep away. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. Ghost. Well, you can, thanks, you know. guys. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll leave two uh, just to focus for the few minutes I have uh, available now. And uh, see you. See you. See yeah. you Thanks. Bye. Well, let's go to our favorite yeah. uh, board. There uh, were a lot of issues. Uh, I saw you made a lot of comments. I haven't had a chance to dive into them, so I figured, hey, we're here. Yeah. Uh, I, I did not uh, have like 32 issues, but a few of them are like votings or comments. So I have like around 30 that are really issues. And I opened the pull request yesterday. I think Fabio raised the view and closing almost 10 of them. So, yeah, seven. Right. So, but I have a few blockers that. Uh, there are not exactly blockers, but of things that were not were clear to me. So I can as well like assign you the ones that I need like some alignment maybe. Sure. Um, like, the best is to steal this time right now though. Okay. So, All right. I can. Okay. Let me. Let me. Maybe. May I share my screen just to. Yeah. Please. To please. Okay. Can you yeah, see me unfortunately, see? it's just uh, it's a really tough week for me. So, no worry, no worry. Moment, we should steal it. No worry. Uh, just let me get the other one. Like, uh, okay, this would make sense. Uh, this one, like, you had that issue that you should change for sliders or not, but then you said that we should wait for changing the the boundaries uh, yes we... okay so i need to make the change the boundaries uh i can i can do that thank you for the reminder okay uh... mm. Mm. I'm just passing through them, just to get sure that uh, yeah, yeah. it's okay. Cool. Okay, not this one. Okay. Oh, I know what's the problem with this one. No, it is not, I'm not being blocked. Oh, this one, I think it should, like, I think Pablo did the changes which is great, but I don't think, like we are gonna take out the contribute tribute, right? Yeah, I think it's fine that we maintain the change, but yeah, let's let's yeah. like merge this first and then take out cultural build tribute from the whole thing. Right. Uh -huh. Damn, now that I have you, I don't find the ones that I'm blocked. Uh, Oh, it's okay. this one, this one's a big one. This one's a big one. Like the idea is just to change the current one for this one, right? But mm -hmm. then like this is straightforward because this is just raw data. But mm -hmm. this, uh, you're basically what's so, defining. Yeah. But like, what's the, like, what is this? So that is nothing. Don't worry about that. What what really is how many T C H tokens did this person get? No, oh, yeah, I get it. But like, uh, I imagine that uh, in the like, I'm gonna put these right. But yeah. these that will be determined by the the parameters that people choose. So the minting yeah. rate will have an effect. The amount of money that the target goal that they use. Will will determine the impact hour rate, and then I believe uh, the impact hour rate times the number of impact hours that they have should be the equivalent to mint 
at target goal. Column D. And then mm -hmm. column D should then be should be able to be turned into TCH uh, on column C. And then the rage quit value should be determined by the redeem should be basically the redeemable percent times column D. But you know, this is this is where we get into like, hey, is our simulation actually working or not? <laughs> because like this this is the the fact earlier there's another issue here that's like yo this doesn't make any sense you know uh about that table it's like uh <sighs> oldest this is weird that this is an oldest but uh a little higher it should be older than this Like, one, that they're not matching uh yes i think can you um think this, this one, right? yeah like what the hell does i mean yeah what what are what are these out like where does the target goal where does the impact hour rate actually have an impact you know like what does it mean oh yeah Shouldn't... i get it i think it's just this is just a problem of calculation like this should be exactly like 20 times 660 that yeah. i would fix another four request but mm, yeah okay but, but is it be... <laughs> well, yeah i'm just, I'm just so i think it should be but is that true no, no, this is because you're just, uh, this is separated from the, you're fixing the rate, right? So it doesn't matter the amount of impact hours, you're going to receive the same. This is correct. Uh, then I checked with uh, Sam. I think like this is okay. The only the only thing is that uh, for the chart, we just get the smaller value, not as exact for just for computational simplicity, but then sure. in this table, we should, should we were using it for making it faster but now then you do lose uh and, accuracy but uh, the, the, the question i have is is the impact hour rate does that just multiply by the the impact hours the person has and then they get the equivalent number of tec tokens that they would have gotten if they put that much money into the hatch Oh, I get it. Yeah, um, the the problem that we have is that it is it is a zero sum game, but it might not look as one because since we are saying, imagine that the, or in fact uh, our exchange rate is one by one. Okay, so then one tech token would be one wrapped X die, but then we mint more tokens for the for the good tribute tribute. So then. But we we keep the same exchange rate. So basically, then like we have we make money, but then if everyone withdraw, there is not not that money. So that's why in the buy charts it's happening that change, because we're creating money. So in here, for example, like the assume target go. But we're not creating new wrapped X die. No, we're no, I, I I totally get it. But the point is that. Here, like here, we should show the. But if I, if here I show tech tokens and I show like the number of the number of X wrapped X die multiplied by the exchange rate of tech tokens, it's, it will be the same thing. But the problem is that we are minting tokens and not backing them, so their exchange value should decrease. Yeah, and that's the and that's the second. If you go to that spreadsheet, that's the last column. Yeah, no, no, I, I totally get it. I totally get it. But um, I, so I totally get it. Yeah. But uh, when you're doing that, like, but if even though you're saying that and you're doing the math, considering the same exchange rate as the beginning, you're still having this problem because 
when you do like let me just one second right. yeah i mean we can go into the code if you want no, no, no. I, I mean okay. the, wow. the that's also fine no <laughs> <laughs> no no uh, i mean uh here like this is a problem because uh in here for example or yeah this is a good one but uh depending on how you make it you're probably gonna have like a redeemable plus cultural attribute they are higher than 100 percent of course you have of course like, yeah but then like this means you're minting money you're gonna creating like back rest x die so if you basically no you do not create less wrapped, you, you create uh, you don't create less wrapped x die you create smaller target redeemable percent and you create, uh, I mean, in the end, you always have the same amount of wrapped X die. No, yeah, yeah, that, that's the point. Because then my, my point is that if you mean more, more tech tokens, each tech token value drops, right? Yes. But you're not considering that. That's the point for the calculation. That's why you can have like this. So that's why when you look at here, like but that, here, but the but what does so what do these okay so th we're conflating a lot of issues right like because because what does the hatch tribute percent here in that pie uh, what does the hatch tribute percent in that pie chart actually represent? Yeah, this is the point because uh, this is uh, considering like from this is a percentage compared to the initial value so we this this means that we're going to create a hundred like we're minting more than a hundred percent compared to what was at the beginning of tech tokens this is a total sum this you get like all the printed all the minted tokens and then you do the sum so i imagine that you have initially i don't know like 10 tokens but then you mean yeah, five the, more for the this is this the, is where the, things don't make any sense like the hatch tribute has nothing to do with minting tokens yeah i know i know i i, I get it i get it but uh i yeah like i did not make this but i'm just saying like what this like this is made is basically gets the amount of tokens on hatch tribute like reptex side and the amount on the on all of them and sum. So the sum of these is more than the initial. That's the point. So okay, so it it's but so then what does the black piece of the pie represent? If if these if if the if the yellow and the blue represent tech tokens, what does the hash tribute represent? The hash tribute is basically uh in the, the let's say the max rate it is basically uh like the percentage of the percentage of the total rates so yeah so can you see two here? two pieces of two pieces of pie can, can you yeah. see this value but the hatch tribute at the min goal oh, like will be numbers. Like there will be some amount of money at the min goal. If the min goal is 100K and the hatch tribute is 10%, that, that min goal should have money in it. It should be 10% of the um, amount of money that was sent in there. You mean like this should be 1,000 instead of 2,000 and something? It should be 10,000 because the hatch percent was 10%, right? Yeah. And 100,000 was sent in. So 10% of that should have gone to the non-redeemable pool. And... Yeah, I got it. What I think, yeah, mm, you're right, you're right. What I think is happening here is that maybe, uh, uh, maybe uh, oh, yay. Yes, give me a tour. 
Oh, nice. It's in general magic tab. Uh, tab. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, like here. <laughs> yeah, getting physical data. Funding pool. Oh, crap. No, yeah, because this code base you need to fix this, but actually, like the hatch tribute. Non reserve, non reserve, non redeemable non -redeemable reserve. reserve. Right? Yeah, minimal, like minus cultural tribute. That's that's the problem right there. There, it should just be raise amount times hatch tribute. The cultural build Wait. tribute mints tokens. It doesn't affect the amount of wrapped X die. Can you repeat? Because I need to think. So this is this is the process, right? People send in wrapped X die. And, and then we mint TEC tokens for them every time they send it in. So wrapped X die sits there uh, and people keep sending more wrapped X die and the raise amount goes up. Raise amount continues to rise. And then eventually it stops. The raise amount is determined. The number of wrapped X die is certain. No, yeah, okay, makes sense. And then that number of wrapped X die sits there and then uh, we do some math. We look at the impact hour rate. And I mean, we, I know, let me see if Sam's here really quick. Yeah, but just, the, j j just. Okay. okay, so I believe, I believe, <laughs> and I need Sam to confirm this, that the impact hour rate uh, times the number of impact hours uh, it becomes a value, right? And then that value, uh, the, the total amount of that value ends up minting tokens, tech tokens for these, for the people who have impact hours. And it's, it would be the equivalent of the minting rate at their impact hour rate times the number of impact hours that they have. So if the minting rate is one TEC for every wrapped X die and the impact hour rate is $10 and I have one impact hour, right? Then I would get 10 TEC H tokens. And that amount of TEC H tokens then just dilutes the token holders that were already existing. Yeah. And now the, all those token holders still have claim to the same amount of wrapped X die that is underneath in the system. And the, but the amount of wrapped X die that's in the system that's claimable by tech token holders is in the redeemable pool. And the hatch tribute sent that percentage to the non redeemable pool. So if the hatch tribute is 10%, we raised a million dollars, 100K goes to the non redeemable pool. Okay. And and then, and the and the tech token holders can, uh, their tokens. The rage quit value is the total supply of tech token uh, tokens divided by nine hundred k, and that's and then times the number of tech tokens they have. Okay, got it. So then, okay, let, let's go with both. the so the non the non like you have hundred k. Then I imagine that, okay. So then the. Uh, I'm not going to actually change this right now, but just for simplicity, the 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 non redeemable reserve should be the 100k times 10 percent of our hash tribute. So it's going to be like 100k times 10 percent, which is uh, 10k, right? So our non redeemable reserve should be like 10k. But then our redeemable reserve should be 90K, right? Yes. But then we shouldn't consider the cultural tribute because we're already diluting this. So this should be 
this then then we're gonna have a hundred K times one nine zero point one. So yes, exactly. it is ninety K. Then mm -hmm. okay, so then like our redeemable reserve is an is ninety K. Okay, not not makes more sense because although I'm calling Sam just to okay, see no, no, no. because here. because like like uh those because like those three like these plus these Hello. is a zero sum game. Oh. Sam, you're you're it's Hello. it's magical to hear your voice. Would you, would you be able to join a Zoom really quick? Mm, yes, but I only have ten minutes because then I'll we take have it. a call of gardens. I'll take okay, it. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Okay. See, I sent it in Telegram. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Okay. Uh, this is so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry. We need to confirm <laughs> this. Um, okay. So my big question is how is the impact our rate? How does it actually affect the token minting? Okay. Like, okay. Because like, uh, Okay, ignore inventory like if uh like the hat the hatch sorry the redeemable reserve plus the Hello. hatch tribute is a zero sum game, but then here we do main new tokens and this is where the we deal with them. Yeah, but I, I Hello, think guys. Hey Sam, Sam. I, I think I think the cultural build tribute has screwed everything up. <laughs> oh yeah, um, definitely. Because if it doesn't have this, it's a zero sum game, and things are easier. <laughs> yeah. So Sam, uh, what did we impact mean? our rate? Can tell me if this is true? Uh, if let's say that I have one impact hour, and the impact hour rate uh, is ten, right? Uh, at the end of the raise, we raised a million dollars. 10% went to the non-redeemable pool. And so there's 100K in the non-redeemable pool and 900K in the redeemable pool. Doesn't even, mm -hmm. I think that doesn't even matter, honestly. Mm -hmm. But the, in, if, uh, the impact hour rate is 10. I have one impact hour. And the it, is, it is like you are buying a token at that uh, with ten dice. So, and so Im imagine so that the, the it, rate is the is one rate, per one. Yeah, minting rate is one for one. I should get mm -hmm. ten TECH. Yes. Okay. Okay. That, Thank God. That did. Uh, that's that's much better. So I think we can remove the cultural build tribute everywhere, right? Like it just doesn't really exist. What we did with Vitor the other day that it, it was a very difficult thing because we, we didn't have it very clear at the beginning is that we we did some formulas in order to apply the the hatch tribute and the cultural build tribute in the same in the same site so when we were talking about redeemable um, uh, fans redeemable or something like that we were talking about if you put at the beginning one die how much you will be able to redeem in the rage quit this is and what so, we were working the other day peter and and in the rage quit we can we should be able to use the redeemable percent not necessarily the rage quit percent but, or sorry, not necessarily. We don't need the cultural build tribute. We can just straight up use the redeemable percent. Yeah, and uh, yeah, since we show how much tech tokens each person with impact towers will receive, yeah. My only problem is that like you're gonna have, uh, I, I let's say you you set the exchange rate for one by one, but then you have like. 150 tech tokens and you have 100 uh, reptex die 
in your reserve. So then your exchange rate is not 100, is not one. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. The, the, rate. the initial the exchange rate. rate, not the exchange rate. Hmm. It's the minting rate. So the tech minting rate is one wrapped X dive for one thing. And that minting rate is what we use to calculate the impact hours uh, and how much tech tokens they should get. And, and from that, we can determine how much uh, money each, uh, how much equivalent wrapped X die was sent into the hatched out for that person uh, to create those tech tokens. And that's where the impact hour rate comes in. But then the rage quit amount is tech total supply of tech tokens divided by non-redeemable pool times the number of tokens they have. Can you repeat this last part? The rage quit value is the total supply of tech tokens divided by the yeah. redeemable pool times the number of tech tokens they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... Yeah, I think, I think, I think now that makes sense. Because then you, then if you want to rage quit, then you're not, it's not going to be a zero sum game and you're going to, your tech token will not, you will not value the same exchange rate. You value less. That's the point. Because you're dividing your total, uh, total tech tokens by the number of And then and if anyone, how... And that's how we should, and that's how we should figure out the rage, the rage quit percent, formerly redeemable percent. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think that the, this this percentage or this amount is that formula that that we got, which is you divide by, well, you you, you multiply by the one less the hatch percent, the hatch tribute percent. Because you are subtracting the hatch tribute, but you can also, in order to know, to, to apply the the cultural build tribute, you can divide by. In that case, it would be one plus the hatch, the, the cultural build tribute. This is the formula that we were working with you, Peter. Yeah, but we, I think yeah. we should, I think that complicates things. I think the cultural yeah. build tribute is something that we extract at the end uh, okay. if we want to talk about it, but it's not something that we should include in the actual calculations because it just, it, it creates complications that mm. don't need to be there. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was, it was quite, quite challenging and I, I am just saying this is something that we were outputting in the, in the height dashboard. And I will find challenging to explain <laughs> to to somebody well, that, who and, okay. and actually by the end of that call, you know, you and YGG left. Uh, but by the end of the call, we decided we need to just remove cultural build tribute completely from everywhere. Like, okay, it's it's too complicated to describe, and uh, like the redeemable percent covers it, the rage quit percent covers the okay. the the value of the tribute so now we're instead of talking about the cultural build tribute as a this is how much you're diluted which is like well first off isn't dilution for like water and shit what are you even talking about so like you know uh we we can just rage quit percent you know okay yeah 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 it like in the code it keep changing a long time, but yeah, as you see, there are a lot of different ways to calculate the same thing. And I'm going to simplify it, like keep just this way and like just in you know, a function and then use it derived from that. So yeah, I think it's going to be simplified. And I'm going to work like today, but mostly like tomorrow, we're going to do a never ending session with Fabio to try to kill all these issues and simplify it again. So like we have like 30 issues, but then almost like 10 are already issued and reviewed so i think we can uh yeah maybe like tomorrow or maybe thursday i think it will be nice i'm not sure how busy you are with but i think it would be nice to pass through everything and just give a sanity check just to get sure that everything is okay because 
uh, like I, I look at this too much and then I might get like blind. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Maybe I think Thursday is the best day, but we can try to push it Wednesday, but I cannot guarantee Wednesday, that everything. I would love to do it Thursday, but I would have to do it extremely early in the morning. Uh, Wednesday night, like right when you guys are done, for me would be the best time. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can um, I, I have a, a question. Um, did you begin with uh, people modeling the, their hatch or we need this first? We, we need to fix this first. Sorry, can you say that again? Uh, people has already started to model the hatch or you have to fix the to, to, we, to remove the, the we can always the close we can always close people's issues so i think i think what will work is we can basically tell people i mean so far there's only like maybe five or six people who have proposed parameters we can tell mm -hmm. people hey go click that like play but we're going to close your issue but if you want to remake it click that like link that lets you start with your parameters and guess what now yeah. the data will actually like show you what you want and now you can resubmit if you'd like hmm. yeah like the idea is yeah. that you can keep importing the data by clicking there it's going to be the same thing but with updated results mm -hmm. and it's really nice we've been closing issues and even if people vote on it everyone gets their votes back so once the issue is closed. Okay. I, I have to leave now. Um, if you, I, I would like to, um, if, if you have some, any other question or, or anything, or if I can help in, in other ways, uh, just, oh, just tell me, okay? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sam, for confirming things. And uh, thank you, Vitor. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we had this moment to all sync on this it was really yeah incredible. okay awesome see you guys see ya bye bye, -bye. vitor did you need anything else no i think i think i'm fine now i think i'm fine I'm gonna keep working today and tomorrow and i think tomorrow night we can be we can finish that until tomorrow night awesome man thank you dude uh